Hello everybody and welcome to the channel. For today's video I'm going to be showing everybody how to do a large project or large print with sublimation. For this video I'm going to show you how to, we're going to do a puzzle but the puzzle is bigger than 8.5 by 11 which is my typical size for my sublimation sheet that I buy. We're for this video, I'm using Photoshop and I'm going to show you how to print it out using Photoshop with a step that allows you to print out a design that's bigger than 8.5 by 11. What I had to do was I had to, in Photoshop, I click print. I set the printer that I'm using. I scale to fit the image so it fits on a page and then we go into print setting. For sublimation paper, I change it to presentation paper mat, and I put the quality on high. For sublimation projects, I mirror the design. And then we go over and we hit this on multiple pages. We turn it on and we click on how many pages we're going to need for this project. For this project, I'm going to split it into two pages, and then I hit print preview to check it before I print it and then I print it out and this way the image will print out it, Photoshop will split it into two pages and print out the image on two separate sheets and then what we're going to do next is we're going to tape them together and tape them onto the puzzle. Now for this size puzzle two sheets is enough you can go bigger we will i'll explain that in another video what i do is on i'm going to cut along one of the images see here how there's a white border around the images i'm going to cut one of the pages the white border off and then we are going to like overlap the, the pages slightly to cover up the white border and we're going to tape it together. Now you have to make sure that you tape it securely. So I tape all along the back. Once I've got it lined up properly and I know that it's where it should be, I flip it over and I tape the whole line of where the two pages meet to make sure that it's firm and secure so that the transfers properly. So we we're doing, we do the cutting of one of the pages, we line them all up and we tape it down secure. Remember to take your time when lining up the design to make sure that it's lined up perfectly so that you can press it. You don't want it to be off at all because it will be noticeable. So just take your time and make sure you line it up perfectly. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to be lining it up with the puzzle. I'm going to flip it, the puzzle over on top of the image, make sure it's all lined up, and then I'm going to secure the puzzle down to the sublimation print and then we're going to get the heat press ready to, to heat press this image onto the puzzle. I am going to do this method on a shirt as well. I have a couple different projects involving large prints with shirts. So we're going to try this sublimation hack on a shirt as well. So after it, we've run it through the press, this is the final results. It came out amazing. You can't even really see the line there attaching the two. With practice, you get better and better at this. This is how to do a sublimation design on a print that is larger than your printer will print out. I 
want to thank everybody for watching this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know what you guys think of this puzzle and this tip in the comments below. And I hope you guys have an amazing day.